One track mine. You got a one track mine? <laughs> hey, good morning, happy Friday! Happy Friday! <laughs> it's Albie's turn! Albie just got his Friday bath so that when he goes home with his amazing foster, Auntie Robin tonight, he is all nice and clean. <coughs> right, nice and clean. And now he knows it's playing ball time. So he's getting impatient because I had to set up the video before we could play. Ready, sit. <coughs> sit. Sit. Sit, Albie. I know you're here, Susie. Ready, okay, I know. Go get it. Oh, yeah. Hey! Get it, Alvy! Get it! So we had to improvise with the ball. We used to have a plastic ball. If you guys have seen my Albert videos before, it was like a hard plastic squeaky ball that had like all these little knobby things on it that was Albert's favorite ball and we used to play with it all the time but unfortunately that ball got ruined so I had to try to find something different to play with today can I have it although this plastic makes it very hard to grab when it's got slobber on it <laughs> can I have it can I have it? Let me try the other one. So we just had our bath. So now it's play time in the yard so we can dry off a little bit. Right, Albie? <gasps> oh, what do I got? I brought two. I was smart this time. Our gorgeous Albert has been with us way 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 too long guys we saved albert back in march of 2015. march of 2015. that is way too long for albert to still be here with us oh it dead the pool got it <laughs> abby loves the pool Abby loves the pool. He has been through so much in his short life. He is approximately seven, seven to eight years of age now, somewhere there in there. He is the best dog. He is so soulful, so loving, so affectionate. He lives, lives, lives for his person. And I know I say that on an every video with him, but it's the truth. Never met a dog like him that just truly lives for his person. That's all he wants in this life is to be with his person. As much as he loves his toys and he loves the pool, if I walk away, he is right behind me because he wants to be with me more than anything or his foster Robin or whoever it is that he is with. Right? Sit. Sit. Good boy. Oh, you have to wait. I know you're getting impatient. Sit. Sit. Give me a paw. Thank you, good boy. Ready? Go get it. Again, obviously he loves to run and play ball in the yard. He loves the pool. He just got his bath. He loves his bath time. He absolutely adores, adores, adores being in the car. 
going for car rides with his person, so his favorite thing in the world to do. He is an angel at home. He loves to snuggle on the couch or in bed with you. He can also jump off and go lay in his bed with his antler or his Benny bone and chew on his bone and be totally content. I know, buddy, I gotta fill it. Uncle Keith just gave it back to me. <laughs> I know, buddy. I know, they had it for Balto. I got a, it's got no water in it, honey. <laughs> I know, we'll fill it. We'll fill it and you'll play with it to, in it today, I promise. I promise. His foster Robin has told me he sometimes puts his self to bed early or he goes to bed when she does. He sometimes sleeps with his head on the pillow and under the covers. He is just the sweetest boy and she has told me too in the past because you don't understand it unless you are truly around Albert when I say that he's got like the soul of a human he understands what you're feeling and he empathizes and he reacts in a way that you wouldn't imagine so his foster Robin is, is going through a really really tough time and she said you know when she would be feeling down he would just come over and just lay his head on her and just look into her eyes as if to say I'm here for you and stay nice and calm not get too excitable when she when she can't handle him excitable he, he just reads your your aura he reads you and reacts that way he is very smart very smart very obedient albies hey want this one you want this one he loves going for his walks. He loves the pool. He loves his car rides. He must be the only pet in the home. And you must have a secured, fenced in yard like we have here at the rescue house because he needs a doggy door. Albert has been through a lot in his short life, which includes having to undergo surgery years ago to remove his small intestines. So when Albert has to go to the bathroom, he needs access to be able to go. He is potty trained where he does not, he does not want to go in the house. When he would have accidents because we didn't have the doggy door yet or other, you know, other options for him, he would he would feel bad. You could tell, like he would hide and he just felt embarrassed. So he doesn't want to do that, which is why a doggy door is a necessity for Albert. You have to have a secured in yard, very secured yard, locked so that you can have the doggy door so that when Albert has to go to the bathroom, he can let himself out, do his business, and then he'll come back in the house. That's what he does here. That's what he does at his foster. And that's what he's gonna need in a forever home. The other thing other than no other animals is you can't be a slob. <laughs> You've gotta keep a tidy home for Albert. Albert has pica, so you can't leave your laundry basket on the floor with clothes all hanging out of it or in your room filled with clothes that he can get to or shoes everywhere you need to pick up after yourself and, and keep a tidy home and then just a secured fenced in yard with a doggy door right right and you will have a best friend for life. 
It absolutely breaks my heart that after six years that he is still here with us. He is all over my memories on Facebook this week from three years ago when I was taking him home every weekend because we were still at the animal hospital and he was getting depressed and losing weight because he wanted so desperately to be with a person. I started taking him home every single weekend three years ago and he's an angel in a home. And then two years ago, I switched to every night, bringing him home. And so I can speak from experience of how Albert is in a home. And he is an easy dog. He would just lay on his bed in the living room while I was in the kitchen cooking dinner or doing laundry. Just super content because he was with his person. He knew when it was time to go to bed at night, we'd come in from our last walk and I'd be like, all right, Albie, it's bedtime. I would take off his leash. He would take himself up my stairs into my second bedroom where he would stay right on his bed. And that was it. He would go to bed for the night. He's such a smart boy. He's such a sweet boy. <laughs> A silly boy. Ready? Everybody in this organization is in love with Albert because you can't not be in love with Albert. And if any of us could take him home for good, we would. But of course, we're all in rescue. We all have a dog or multiple dogs or dogs and cats. And unfortunately, that's not going to work for Albert. You ready? You ready? So I'm begging you all to hit the share button for Albert. Six years is way too long for us to be waiting for his angel to come along. And they will get an angel in return. Haha! -ha, I got this one now. <laughs> you ready? Sit. Sit, Boo Boo. Sit. You're hot, huh? Go get some water. Come on. Let's get some waters. Get some waters. Come on, it's hot out here, even with the fans. It's brutal. Come here. Tail's always going. Always going. He does have one blue eye and one hazel brown goldish eye. He's insanely handsome and happy and loving and affectionate and smart and I could go on and on and on but you just need to meet him in person just give him a chance I promise you will not be sorry you will fall in love right Albert right Albert We know his best friend's got to be out there, his person. We just have to find him and we need your help to do it. So everybody, please, please hit the share button. And if you are interested in Albert, send us an email to 100plusabandondogs at gmail.com. Please include your location if you're in a home or an apartment because obviously you need to be in a home with a fenced in yard who lives in your home, if there are any other pets, the size of your fence and type, work schedule, as much information as possible. And send that email to 100plusabandondogs at gmail.com. 
Somebody needs to give him a chance. We all would if we could. Handsome boy. Again, this is Tiffany and Albert. Rescue House 1. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Please, please hit the share button for Albert. You want this one, Alps? Albies. You getting tired? I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired. Good boy. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Help us get Albie home. <laughs>